Hello world, I'm Rich, and it's Rich's World Beer Tour. I am chilling. I gotta tell you, since Friday, I'm, I'm filming this on Monday night. My son just got married on Saturday. First one in the family to get married, first grandchild. Uh, so Friday, grooms, you know, all the stuff, getting people from the airport, uh, coming in from out of town, show them around a little bit. Groom's dinner Friday, Saturday, you know, all the stuff, moving people around, getting up, food, da-da-da, the wedding, the reception, then staying up even later to cook food because we had everybody over for a present opening and a brunch for about 30 people. Doing all that, a little nap in after that, then off to a fun re British restaurant, uh, British Isles restaurant that my son loves, bring his friends there. Some more good food and beverage, then a nice night of sleep. Today running people around, got uh, people back to the airport, got my son and his wife to the airport. I'm due for a beer. <laughs> Guess what showed up on uh, Friday? A package from uh, Kevin. That was one of the things on Friday, a box of beer showed up. God bless you, Kevin. If you guys have not checked out Kevin's channel, uh, Clements Homebrew, do it. Subscribe, you will love watching that show. Uh, I watch everything he puts out. It's it's just he's one of the the best gentlemen in the community. I'll say that in the whole beer community. Um, I enjoy Kevin's uh, friendship and the beers. Um, here's one. He sent me some big beers. He sent me an IPA here, a nice double IPA from the Hop Experience. It's a Hop Experience Ale. Sticky Hands. Sticky Hands from Block 15 Brewing, and I think it is. Get the glasses on here. Corvallis, uh, Oregon, I believe. Corvallis, Oregon. Swing by their brew pub or production brewery and tap room. 8.1%. Uh, there it is, Corvallis, uh, Oregon. Um, there is a big 22 stamped on the bottom of the can and a small number 10 on the bottom. I think the 22 might be the aluminum. I don't know that. The 10 is a little lighter stamped. Maybe that's the packaging. I don't have a date on this. I'm assuming if Kevin sent it to me, it's darn fresh. I don't know anything about it. I've never had a beer from uh, Block 15. It's a gorgeous day. I just got a four mile walk in. Heck yeah, I'm having a beer. Check that out. Hopefully, I, I don't know the lighting yet on this camera, but uh, I'm trying to get it out in the sun. That is just absolute tangerine gold and a beautiful white head. Um, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's about 60 degrees here. We've had some cool weather. I'm dying for a beer like this. Gorgeous. A little murky. Can't see all the way through it. But the carbonation, good carbonation coming up off the bottom. First thing, mango, pineapple, a little bit of citrus, some... Uh, Oh, some resinous pine, but it's very tropical. Very mango, very pineapple forward on the nose. Some nice notes. Sorry for the car noise. It's uh, the road with all the vegetation missing uh, till spring really kicks. The noise is a little higher. It smells so good. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. <laughs> you know, you have, you're in the zone for a good beer and you find one and it just hits on all cylinders. This is it. Big mouthfeel. I mean, it's more than a medium mouthfeel. This is a good, big mouthfeel. I'm going to have one more sip. My uh, friend Barb is biking by on the other side of the pond yelling at us. We're good! I'm filming a beer review! Barb, I'm sure you're watching this now. Can't interrupt my beer reviews with conversation. Um, sweet. It's lighter than the mouthfeel would suggest. Yeah, the mouthfeel's big, but then it, it drinks lighter than that. It's that mango, that pineapple, the... When I'm, when I'm drinking it in, you're also smelling as you're drinking. 
this is this is an odd one. It smells a little bit like pot. Now, I've never had that in a beer. Maybe this is a real off flavor that I'm I'm picking up by chance. It's a unique one. Um, there's some dank, resinous, piney at the end, which is a real nice finish. After that sweetness, you're getting both the sweet, tropical, um, citrusy notes, nice malty sweetness in there, and then you're getting this dank, resinous pine um, at the end. Just such a nice uh, battle between the two flavors. The more I'm drinking it, it's more like a, a tangerine and orange. Um, I probably got this in the 50 degree range, maybe a little cool for what I'd really like with it. The head's holding nice. That orange tangerine is coming out more and more. This is world class. This is, you know, people made a, a big deal about Hop Slam and some of the, what was the other one? Whatever. It, it, this is, this, this kicks it. Um, 9.75. I really like this. I got to go back and see if Kevin's reviewed it and get kind of his notes. If you're out in the Oregon area, um, Block 15 Brewing. I have never heard of them. Um, check them out. If the rest of their beers are like this, this is this is world class. This is really nice. Um, yeah, 9.75. What a great way to end uh, a long, long weekend and hopefully start up spring here. Anyways, if you've tried it, put some notes down. If you're out, if you're from out there, uh, let me know if I'm on. Uh, let me know about that pot flavor. If that's something that uh, maybe that's an off flavor I'm picking up, but it's not too distracting. But it's in there. Let me know what you think. If not, uh, and you can get your hands on it or trade for it, darn it, do it. This is a great beer, um, Kevin. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, check out Kevin's channel, uh, Clements Homebrew. Subscribe. You won't be disappointed. But thanks for sharing one with me. Cheers, world.